What's good? Thanks for bearing with me. You are now rocking with the biz. My name is Herb Howard. Checking in week two this season for Bear With Me. The best star receiver, Donnell Mooney. On, I appreciate you taking the time, man. How you feeling? I'm good, you? Yeah. Good, I'm good, I'm good. You came out of week one healthy, feeling decent? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling good, really good. Listen, man, let's get right to the important stuff, man. Talk to, sit down last week with Justin, and he told me about who got the best style on the team. And in no order, he said, Bojack, Moon, <laughs> And he said himself. With style as in like swag. Like swag. Like okay, how y'all okay, put y'all stuff on? For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I know that show, man. Is, are you co-signing that shirt he wore on Sunday? I uh, mean, week one against uh, week one in the green. I haven't game? seen it. I just heard about it. You didn't see what he wore? I didn't see it. I just heard. They talked about it in the office of me the other day. It, Do you want to see said, what he wore? I don't. Because they brought it up. It said Versace see-through. So I don't know who made it, but. <laughs> I was messing with him in the locker room. So I was like, you lied to me, bro. You told me you had crazy style, and then you came in here <laughs> with that on. Nah, it was cool. It was cool. What's, what, what, who who you think got the best style on the team? Uh, I, w- I would say those those same three. Same three? For sure. For All sure. right, let me see if y'all on, let me see if y'all on the same with this. Who got the worst style on the team? Um, It got to be like an old line, man, for sure. Like, you on the right track. He said he named the old lineman, too. Which one? You, which one do you think? Uh... Probably Braxton. <laughs> Braxton. I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. He said Tevin. He was talking about some Uggs that Tevin be wearing yeah. around this joint. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can see Tevin for sure. Take me back to uh, to Gaston, Alabama, man. Yeah. What type of spot is that? I know it's I know it's like northeast of Birmingham, yeah. like southwest of Chattanooga, kind of yeah. like in the middle. It's like like thirty three thousand people. I know it's part of a, a larger county. But what yeah. what is like growing up there? Uh, it's smooth. I mean, you you got you, it's just like anywhere else. You get you know where you can go, where you can't go. Yeah. You know, stay where you need to be, and and uh, I mean, it's it's fun when you you know people and you know your way around. But right. you know, as long as it's basically, man, if you anywhere, man, you hey, stay where you say? stay your business, and don't nobody bother you. Get in business, but people bother you. That's what I said about Chicago. You know how they always be talking about Chicago and the violence and this yeah. and the third. People like you from Chicago, and it's like. Relax, bro. Yeah. You know how to navigate. You mind your business. Sure. You be cool, man. People sure. think you're going to land at O'Hare and something <laughs> going to happen to you. Like, it ain't, it ain't like that, bro. Um, you grew up with a twin brother. Mm-hmm. Also, very, very hard to find. I was telling you before the camera started rolling that. Yeah. And all the research I've done to sit down and do these one-on-ones, it was hard to find anything about you, man. Yeah. You a real, real private dude. But man. what was it like growing up with a, with a twin, man, with a twin uh, brother? It was nice. All, always a competition going man. on at all times, no matter what it was, man. At, I mean... Waking up early, yeah. it doesn't matter. It was a competition with anything, eating food, yeah. or anything. But uh, it was good to have a competition at all times. And uh, I mean, it, it kind of brought me to where I am today, just always competing mm. at all times. That's what's up, man. Um, your father, huge, huge influence on yep, you. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, passed away when you were 16, right before your junior year yep. uh, at high school. I saw, uh, he from here too, he from yeah, Chicago. He yeah, he from the crib, yeah, which is, yeah. a lot of that was cool. Um, you said that you felt you had to step up after that, you know, for your mom and for your siblings. Is that something that has motivated you to get to this point? Yeah, for sure. All the way, all the way up to this point, and, and like I kind of shifted over now. It's like I want to, uh, you know, take care of my family when I when I cre- whenever I create my fa- create my family or whatever, and uh, leave whatever I have left for, behind for them. So yeah. Well, that's super dope, man. I saw a story you was talking about how you and your brother used to be in the backseat of your pop's truck, you know, playing the video games, yeah. and while he was just kind of running his errands and whatnot, you said he'd be listening to some Hove or some or some yeah. Wayne or something like that. Facts, facts. Who your Who your favorite five rappers? Uh, five. Yeah, oh, your, that's your, tough. Your, your top. It don't, it don't gotta be like the best. It's who your favorite five. <laughs> My genre's crazy, man. Like it yeah. switches up so much, man. Like I got, I got, I got Dirk, I got Rod Wave, Drake. Um, it's not top five though. It's just nah, just your favorite. Just whoever you whoever you've been vibing to lately. Uh, like uh, yeah, Drake, Rod Wave, Dirk, uh, C- SZA, okay, uh, Summer Walker, a little bit of that. Yeah. Like, kind of a yeah, you all over with all it. All over the place, man. All over the place. No, I can dig that. I can dig that. You got a country music playlist? I've been getting into that a little uh, bit. Not later. a playlist. It's just a variety of some couple songs. little yeah, couple yeah, little things. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, your pops also went to. You talk about being from here, you went to Illinois Institute of Technology too. Mm-hmm. And then you ended up studying like compute, what was it? Applied computing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what drew you to into, into computers and, and you and your pops having that same connection? Yeah, I didn't really know what he was doing at first when I was growing up. Yeah. But then like 
after I got in college, I'm like, oh, this is some of the same stuff my pops was doing or whatever. But I was just, it was just easy for me. Yeah. I was just trying to do that and play football. I wasn't trying to do nothing too hard in college. But it was just super easy. That's not hard to me, bro. I don't know how. I don't know nothing about the computers, bro. Yeah. I could barely turn them on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the world we live in now. The you got to kind of learn, right? Know that. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, you've been in probably my two favorite cities, period, in the country, Chicago and New Orleans, but they also probably two of the best food cities. Uh, my favorite two food cities. Uh, what's your favorite, some of the favorite spots to eat? Which you, is, is New Orleans, I, I say New Orleans is a little bit better on the food in Chicago. I can't even yeah, I gotta, I'm a little biased, but I can't find yeah. New Orleans got the food on lot. They do, they do for sure, for sure. What's some of your favorite spots down there? Uh, it's a place called um, Bayou Hot Wings. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a place called Manchu's. Manchu's is probably the best chicken I've ever had. Yeah. It's, and it's like Chinese people making it. Uh -huh. like it's, it's, it's a hole in the wall for sure. It's purple. Oh, that's, that's them the joints. Yeah. It's, if it looks like you don't want to eat that, man, it's, it's going to be fine. It's under the bridge. Like, it just, it's crazy. It's a crazy scene, scenery for sure. You don't want to go, you look like you don't want to go there at all. Like, you don't want to step exactly. there. Exactly. But it's fact. crazy food. I'm going there when we go this, this year. We're going yeah, down there this so, year. You, you, ain't, you ain't had a chance to play back there, right? Uh, playoff game, but I, uh, but you I was hurt, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, they're definitely looking forward to that. I gotta, I gotta make sure I write that down, man. Choose when we get down there. Yeah. Any spots you like in Chicago on the food side? Uh, it's this place called Ferretta's. It's like a new spot. It just came yeah. out like two months ago. Um, uh, Gibson Italian. Facts. Uh, Steak 48, you know, RPMs and all, all yeah. that. But, yeah. yeah. Um, get you up out of here on, on, on this piece. Well, first of all, you got any uh, French Quarter, Mardi Gras stories from your time down there? No, I ain't really do all that. I was chilling. Y'all had the week off of school, though, when it came, did, though, right? We did. Yeah, we did. I did it my senior year, and I, I didn't last two days. Like, I couldn't stay up that much. People be, literally stay up the whole weekend. No, The sir. whole week. No, sir. I had to get some sleep. You could tell me the truth after the cameras go off. I know you got some stories. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing, get you out of here on this, man. Um, I know it's been a huge story about, you know, the first thing you purchased when you first signed yeah. to the league. Everybody knows. Everybody that's a fan of yours know you bought Jug Machine yeah. first, right? No, 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 no. Um, you finna have another contract real soon, hopefully with the Bears, but certainly with somebody. No, no. You're gonna have another contract in the next seven months. What's what's the first thing you're gonna buy this time? Uh, I'm gonna give me a crib, fat crib. Yeah. Fat crib. Yeah. yeah. I hope it's here, man. I no, appreciate no, you taking the too. time, my brother. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. That is Donnell Mooney checking in. This is week two, season two. Bear with me for the Bigs Media. My name is Herb Howard. Sus.